Woodlands Juvenile Justice Centre is a secure custodial setting for young people aged between 10 and 17 years old. The centre accommodates both boys and girls and holds a maximum of 48 young people at one time. And within the Northern Ireland Justice System, adults and children are accommodated separately. Staff who work within Woodlands Juvenile Justice Centre are youth and community and social work qualified. This enables us to promote effective communication using skills and child-centred values within our practice. The use of empathy, um, showing understanding, open communication and honesty are particularly important when engaging young people. Staff group don't wear uniforms, um, we dress very casually in casual, casual clothes and also avoid the use of prison terminology. So for example we use the term uh, bedrooms instead of cells and the young person referred to as young people not not prisoners on ourselves as staff, not prison officers. Within Woodlands, uh, staff are trained within therapeutic crisis intervention, which uses communication and approaches to de-escalate young people within crisis situations and who are displaying challenging behaviours. And this is to avoid the use of physical restraint. When a young person is first admitted to Woodlands Juvenile Justice Centre, they're allocated a key worker who is a staff member who holds the responsibility of ensuring that young person's needs, wishes and views are kept central to the case management process. Uh, what this means is um, the key worker uh, would make themselves available to that young person to provide support, encouragement and participation um, at initial planning meetings, case reviews and pre-release meetings to ensure that their views are central to decision making. Young people attend a weekly progressive regime meeting held within house units in Woodlands and this gives them the opportunity to discuss um, issues or concerns and also have their voices heard in terms of um, their behaviours, activities and day-to-day -day running of the unit. It enables them to discuss directly with the staff group and the unit manager in order to affect change and influence decisions made regarding that particular house unit. I'm John, I'm 16 and I've been here five months. I'm close to my family and have two younger sisters. I stopped going to school a year ago when I was 15 because I got expelled. I got charged with farm robbery and this is my first offence. I never had any other charges. My case is quite unique. I'm one of the youngest people to be charged with farm robbery in 15 years. When I first came here, I thought it was going to be a proper prison with thorns, jumpsuits and chains around your ankles. It wasn't like that. It was easier than I first thought. Anyone could do it in here because we're under 18, so they can't treat us the same as adults. I didn't think the staff were going to be like this. They're all right to talk to, and they're not that strict. You get to make decisions in here. You can go to the school principal and ask to get your classes changed, but we don't have a say on whether we can smoke or what we eat. We've obviously a lot more freedom on the outside, so it's always going to be different. School in here is just classes. If you don't do them, you get locked up. There's maths, English, woodwork, and cars. It's nowhere near the same as normal school. There's two or three of us in each class. It's better. I like the staff with experience. I can relate to them. They give me advice and I take it on. Staff wear normal clothes. They wear tracksuits or jeans. It's really casual. They dress like we do. I've got a mentor. I meet them once a week. There are, they are from the time where I live. I can phone them and chat. We hang out, do stuff and meet up. He's there to help me keep occupied and busy. When the police arrested me, I felt really bad because they didn't talk to me in a respectful way. I had respect for them when they came through the door, but they destroyed it with words they said, and it wasn't professional. Police need more training to talk to young people and be respectful whenever they're getting arrested or try to make it as easy as possible because it's not the same as whenever they usually arrest like adults because you can't talk to children in the same way. When I get out of here, I'm looking forward to going to my new school. It's an alternative education provider, which means it will have small classes. I need to have lots of stuff to do. Having nothing to do all day is why I ended up here in the first place. I'm Mick. I'm 14 and I have 63 convictions. Convictions are a number of, of crimes I've been brought to court for. The first time I was brought to court, I was 11 years old. The first time I walked into the juvenile justice centre, I was the first out of my group of friends to be sent here. I went to house three. It is the girls unit. 
I was very small and the youngest boy sent here. For activities, we play tennis, we play football and we have a swimming pool. We have a gym as well and we also have a sports hall. Well, I was only 10 the first time the cops had contact with me. Whenever I was arrested, when the cops told me what I was getting charged with, I, I ran. The cops need to be more respectful. They should give respect if they want to get it. But at the end of the day, no one's really going to give respect to the cops because of, because of their name they have. When I'm older, I want to be a car mechanic because I've already finished my level one. I'm on my level two at the minute. I think I'd be able to get a job in car mechanics, no problem. The first time I was sent here, I was 11 years old. I was scared, it was just really scary. The staff team was lovely, they helped me settle in well, even though I was only here for one night. First couple of times I was remanded to the JJC under Pace. This means the police felt it was the safest place to put me. Then I was sent to the JJC for a couple of weeks at a time. The girls' rooms are similar to the boys. We can't decorate the rooms or anything like that, but we can put up posters and pictures of our family. The only time the girls and boys mix is during education, but it isn't very often. School is very easy. You get your basic qualifications and more. They teach you on a one-to-one basis and you get more support. You feel like you're learning more in here. I want to go to college and start training as a full-time carer. My social worker will be able to help me do my application form and visit the college with me and show me around. Staff in here sit with you. That's what makes it different to everywhere else. Staff help you realise what you have done and get you to think about not doing it again when you get out. It could tighten up in some areas because after young people leave, they come back. I don't want to say it's a prison, because it's not. The JJC is a place to think about what you've done. You recognise you've done wrong when you're in here. I don't mind the court as it's not too bad. I've had the same judge each time for both my charges and my current family life. That judge has given me lots of chances. I wouldn't really like a judge who doesn't know me or what I've been through in my life. Young people are treated differently depending on the police officer. A good police officer gives you loads of chances and treats you well. Other police officers can be ignorant and disrespectful. I was shelled out of a car by the power by a police officer and swore at. Police need to have more patience and show more respect to young people. Coming out of the centre after eight months was really weird. Inside I got used to the structure and the staff but I learned that I needed to settle down and plan for the future. I stayed out for two years but then things broke down in the children's home so I moved home and stayed there for ten weeks but it didn't work out. So I moved back to the children's home and started getting into trouble again. In six weeks I had worked up 12 new charges. I was sentenced to 12 months. I get out soon and now I'm starting to plan for my future. If I had one thing to say to people about the JJC I would say it has changed my life. It made me realise that crime is not the way forward. I'm really thankful for the support that JJC staff has given me.